I'm on my laptop right now. I'm waiting for it to stream ready. We're going live. Sweet. You should be able to pick up your phone to be able to see comments and stuff. Well, I'm, I'm Hello, using my friends. phone for like the actual video. Hello! What's up, friends? We're live. We're live. We're live from Saturday night. I was just going to say that. I hate you. You, you stole my thing. Time is irrelevant. <laughs> time is irrelevant. Time doesn't exist. Time is, does not exist in variety hour, okay? It or yeah, in 2020. Control. This is a fifth dimensional podcast that we're doing. <laughs> it's not even a podcast. That's how fifth dimensional it is. It's not even it's a really, podcast. It's a not it's podcast a podcast. It's a not podcast that because it's fifth dimensional, it's already happened and it's still happening. And it happened before. I love it. At the same time. Is this like God's Trump podcast? Is that what we're talking about? God's right? podcast. He's like, he's before, he's the present. He's it, if you will, it's a God cast. It's a God cast. Oh. Oh. I did that. Wait, how do I view the. How do I watch the Hello, stream? friends. Welcome to the stream. We're hanging out doing variety things. A variety of things, in fact. Yes. It is a variety of things. Yeah. What, what, was, was, what was the topic that Vern had brought up about the beard and going to see how I, far... I don't remember where it was going. It might have been Kiev, but I put Odessa. So. I'm so confused. I don't... I didn't watch the stream from last week. I'm very confused. Oh, well... This week we're going to discover how exactly I get my beard long enough to get it all the way to Kiev. Oh. Yeah. What's going on here? No, 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 no. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Scott's having issues. Um, for those of you guys who are hanging out with us, uh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Good job, Scott. You fucked it all. Dude, it looked, it looked like one of those weird things that would happen in a sci-fi movie. Like, no, 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 and then you just disappear, and it's like the thing got you. <laughs> Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's what happened. Yeah, we're in the simulation, and uh, we got simulation. reprogrammed for a second. It was a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> Scott's always a glitch in the Matrix. I don't even know what that means, but okay. It, have you not seen the Matrix? I have seen The Matrix, but why am I always a glitch in The Matrix? Why am I out of everybody a glitch in The Matrix? Because you are. Well, because you glitched off. You disappeared, okay. and then you came back. So, cool. You can't just ask people why there are glitches in The Matrix. Yeah, it is. <laughs> have you seen that movie? Deep topic. Have you seen that movie? Matrix? Mean Girls? Yes, no. I've seen it. Mean Girls. Mean Girls, oh, okay. Yeah. I you're talking about Matrix. There's the, that's the... Um, you haven't seen Mean Girls, so it doesn't make any sense. That's That quote is from the... You can't just ask people why they're white, Karen. It's fantastic. It's such a good movie. Louise and I watched that last night. What are we talking about? What's our topic? I got a topic. How about... Well, actually, it's not really a topic. It's just kind of a story. Um, Go for it. Well, it's not a... So it's this, not this really a story. It's a. Of, it's this, more of a word. It's not really a word. It's more of just sounds. Can you let me talk? No. <laughs> interrupting me. Like, just decided to push air for a second. Just nah. Go for it. Nah. Out my word. What's the story? Um. So there's this new fad of this this chip challenge. Have you guys have you guys seen it? It's like this chip in a box. And like supposedly it's coated in California Reaper. What? And and it's just one chip, and it comes in a little box that's like shaped like a coffin, and it's shaped like a coffin for a good reason. Um, my brother said that he did that with my brother-in-law and my nephew, and it took him a minute before he had to drink something. My brother-in-law and my nephew lasted about an hour before they had to drink anything. 
And it, I guess it was just you mentioning the whole thing about spicy foods there, Will. You brought up this topic, and it's just funny because they're, they're Asian, so. Oh. Not great story. <laughs> good story. <laughs> so they lasted like a good hour because they're, you know, they talk. I feel like that's racist. Just putting that out there. It's all, huh? I so said I feel like that's racist. Nah, I mean, I mean, it's only racist if it's a stereotype, and it's pretty. It's a pretty true. I don't think. I don't think that's true. <laughs> It's only racist if it's a stereotype. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that's not. I would just like to mention: once revealed, does not endorse. Once revealed, does not endorse racism or stereotyping of any kind. Uh, disclaimer. It's only stereotype if it's also racist. Yes. Uh, I mean. It's like it's like square rectangle. Exactly. It's, it's a square, square rectangle. Right. Right. Yes. Sure. Good job. That's actually perfect. That's actually a perfect analogy. Yeah. Mm. 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 Good story. Hey guys. Thank you all for being so well dressed. Thank you. Are we, are we done? That's usually our... our... Oh, is it? Wow. I just wanted to say that. Because it's, it's no, a good thing. Started. You've ruined it, Will. I'm sorry. Got a good thing going. That was going to be our last, all right, like, so our last quote. For all of our lovely viewers, how are you guys doing this week? Let us know in the comments, and we'll chat with you. So guys, how was your week? My week was good. Mm -hmm. My week was... Did you do all the things? Did I what? Did you do all the things? Cool. I did some of the things. Just some. Yeah, it's good. Um, I fucking door dashed the hell out of this week. Yeah, buddy. That's, that's oh, been yeah. my consistent schedule. Like, my routine is get up at 8 o'clock, go for a run, come back, apply for jobs. Then at 12 o'clock, hit that fucking door dash <laughs> and hit that until about 4 o'clock. Then I'm back home. So that's that's my routine. I'm, it's, it's an interesting job. How many doors yeah. did you dash? 23. Whew. That's a lot of doors. So I've yeah. made about 150 something bucks. Nice. Not bad. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. One day of work. Some people are. Yeah, yeah, that's not too bad with a couple of, you know, this whole week that's about all I've gained, but, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's still not. Well, if you do bad. that one day, that, that's not bad. That ain't bad. Yeah. Right, and. Especially because it's just you're just hanging out in your car driving around, so like, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. not terrible. It's definitely a good side job, I will say that much. Definitely something to do. Which I have a feeling there's a lot of people out there doing this type of job now with you know the pandemic and everything, people being laid off. Oh. Well, even before that, I mean, that was like the backbone of the big, the gig economy was like. Um, a combination of DoorDash and Uber and Lyft and, like, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, that's... I know a lot of musicians that, like, they would go on tour, and then when they got home, like, they would work a part-time job and then, like, Lyft on the side because they could, mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. It's so simple. It's so yeah. simple to do. Yeah, really easy. You have to lift it. Yeah, just, just gotta lift. It. Musicians that lift. Musicians that lift. Is that gonna be our club that we start? Hell yeah. That's gonna be a club that Scott starts. I'm going to be no part of that. You're going to join it, Will. You're going to join it, and you're going to like it. If you teach me how to lift. Now, now go in the back and do some squats right now. Right now. You got it. Okay, good, good. Okay, go. Okay. All right. That is this how I do a squat? What is a squat? No, no you, you, you've got to. Let's see here. Yeah. Welcome uh, to the Once Revealed Exercise Hour. You gotta, you gotta keep your feet shoulder width apart. Okay. All right, and then go down like you're about to sit, but of course don't sit. And keep your back straight. Keep your back 
There you go. There you go. Go down these a little are, more. These are not the proper pants for squatting. Just go with it. Okay, you're good. Now go back up. That's okay, it? Do it again. That's oh, that's easy. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you want to go down a little further than that. I, I can't. I'm going to... <laughs> gonna bust my pants. Hang on. Nathan's doing it. I need like yoga leggings for this or something. This is the funnest game I've ever watched. How's this? Is that good? You guys are doing great. Yes, yes, fuck yes. I've got yeah, nice you feel it. You feel the burn in your quads. You feel the burn in your quads. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Yes. Do it. This is hard to do, do while laughing. <laughs> All right, do it. How do how squat? When do I stop? Do it now. Okay, you're never. you're good. You never stop. You're good. <laughs> you okay. Never. You just keep squatting. This is yeah, great. Just do it. Right out. Squats. <laughs> squats all night. Squats on squats on squats on squats. More squats. Well, this was fun. Uh, I did. I learned. Well, I've got so they work out nicely. You what? I have stretchy jeans. They're elastic. Ooh, They've got like uh, elastic built into them. Dude, I need that. Them? What? No. Built <laughs> into them. <laughs> 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 I think we would have let that one go, but you just had to <laughs> jump on it. Oh man. <laughs> but it's okay. <sighs> yeah, I I'm very much not good at uh at exercising i never like nobody ever taught me so i just have no idea how to do anything that sucks you gotta have a dad who's like a a, a uh, what do they call it gym rat my dad is i That's... probably the farthest that you can get from that yeah to each I mean, unless you want to learn how to like cut down a tree and you know <laughs> like self-actualize like at the same time <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's great for that. <laughs> That's like it. Uh, shoot. So what is it that your dad does? Uh, well, if you don't mind, you ask it. I do mind. No, I don't. Why would I mind? Uh, he's a patent examiner. Is there works? What? He's a patent examiner. Patent examiner. Yeah, so he, uh, he, he works for the... You. He works for the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and basically, uh, he works in fluid motors, so, uh, like, hydraulics. Like, so, like, hydraulic brakes are a system that he works on, or, like, um, a, a lot of what he does is, like, skid loaders or, like, backhoes. Um, like, the the system that actually makes, like, like the, the bucket on the back of a backhoe function. He works in that. But it's just, yeah, people bring him designs, and they say, this will work, and he goes, no, it doesn't. Fix this. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Like approving patented things. That's that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. He just looks at them and sees if they like physically if they will work, and then if there is already a patent right. for that design, and if not, he he grants them a patent. So <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. He um he's been doing that forever. Like when I was a kid, I I wanted to be an inventor because he was a patent examiner, mm -hmm. and so that was like the right kind of people that I was like introduced to was like inventors and, and uh, designers and engineers and stuff like that so right yeah, yeah and then a cool profession but also a very challenging profession so. yeah definitely and then after that I decided I didn't need money to live and became a musician so <laughs> you know it's fine it's great definitely good career choices happening in my life I remember when I first decided to play drums, my parents were like, I don't know, are you sure you don't want to play trumpet or something? <laughs> or like, not do music? And yeah. you're like, no, I'm going to be a rock star. And they're like, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like 10, so I guess they didn't really think it was going to be a thing. But <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Joke's on them, yeah. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes all that. I got a degree in music and I'm not using it. Hey! <laughs> I mean, I'm barely using mine. Oh, man. Good times. I mean, technically, yeah, I am. True. Might be, like, I got a music ed degree. Right. So you're using the ed part of it. 
I'm using half of my degree. Like, it's very distracting. I, I finally figured it out to where I'm streaming, and now I have this video, and I have this video that's the delay, and I see myself laughing, and it's not matching with what I'm doing right now. It's fucking with my head, bro. It's, I don't like it. <laughs> maybe it's somebody, maybe we're streaming a different Scott. Is this the, the God, God, what's the God, what is it called? It's the God cast. The God cast, oh yeah. It's Bringing it back God. around. Because it's happening now, and before, and in the future, at the same time. It is always happening. Beautiful. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, so exciting things yeah. this week. Louise and I um, went to look at a new house, potentially. Ooh, oh, we, yeah, that's right, you've been doing that. Yeah. Where? Uh, Where it's in, uh, like, Monrovia. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's, yeah, that's just down next to New Market. That's not far. Yeah, 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 just on the other side of uh, New Market. So it's like a 15-minute drive to the studio, 15 or 20 minutes. Um, it's like a 40-minute drive to Baltimore. Uh, and it's like literally like this is the one of the outbuildings on a farm, and so we don't have to take care of the farm, but we get to use the farm, which is like the best case scenario because we get to just be like in nature kind of. There's like pastures and uh, cattle nice. and and horses and stuff like that just roaming around, but uh, but yeah, we don't have to do any of the upkeep on it, which is super cool. It's a nice house. Mm-hmm. Wow, nice. So yeah, that is exciting. Yeah, reason, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah it's <laughs> we're we would probably be taking over a lease for a friend of ours, so uh, we'd be helping him out, and uh, we get a nice house, and um, Camino would be able to run places <laughs> instead of just being in an yeah. apartment. So that would be cool. Cool man. Look at that facial hair. Indeed. I know. Look, look at it. Look at your facial hair. It's ridiculous. <laughs> look at my facial hair that's not existed, no. basically. You got, it's you existing. Got shape, like, seriously. You got, like, you, you've let that go. No, Nathan. you're right. I don't, I, you're right. I'm trying to picture how you could shave there, Nathan, other than just fucking... Uh, a I mean, Bowie knife? Stop. That's usually how that works. No, 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 no. I'm just... The only way that I think of shaving is if you actually use a fucking shaver. Man, that just won't a work. Shaver. A, a shaver? But, I mean, a shaver. <laughs> That's what I'm calling okay. it now. It's a shaver. Just I mean, it. you could cut it, it with a, with a straight a razor. Beard. You could cut that beard. You just take it all in one clump and just, just cut it off. I'm thinking of using a butter knife. I feel like if I, like, swipe it Saw, saw through it. <laughs> <laughs> like a steak knife. You know how that goes, Nathan. Jeez, that would take a while. You could burn it off. Oh, oh, that would smell so bad. <laughs> yep, for the whole oh, time. I'm worried about the smell, above all. He's just like, God, that would stink. Yeah, that'd be terrible. <laughs> I mean, you'd also probably get hurt. <laughs> yeah, no, that wouldn't be so good. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, says Danny. Uh, what do you want to talk about? How was your week? Was it good? I hope it was. My week was good. Um, yeah, Daniel. How are you doing downstairs in the office? I work in the office with him. We work in oh. the same building. Oh, he's a cool guy. Fundraiser idea. I like how yeah. everything that Danny says is in all capital letters. Shave, Nathan. <laughs> oh. Yo, I did that with Stack Like Pancakes, my previous band. I, uh, there, was, there was one point we were raising uh, a bunch of money for a Kickstarter, and... We were trying to do like like sprints. Like they suggest you do like like if we raise this much money in this amount of time, we'll do this thing. And so it was like if we raise like two thousand dollars in one hour, uh, I would uh, I, I would dye my hair bright pink. And we raised two thousand dollars in like twenty minutes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Now I need to I need to like actually do stuff. So I we actually like like bleached my hair and dyed it like bubblegum pink it was amazing nice i still had frosted nice. tips like last year like it took two full years for it to grow out it's fantastic frosted pink tips 
That's hot. That's so hot. Beautiful. Old people shout. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why you have it all caps. <coughs> oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Uh, buddy. Well, you tell you what, Danny. Old that's people good. shout. We could we could have two fundraisers with just me. I could generate two fundraisers. Like the first. How about another like, fundraiser? Go ahead, Nathan. I, didn't, I, didn't mean I was gonna say me. you can say if we raise so much money, this weird guy will shave off his beard. Rainbow beard. Oh God, this is all right. Look, <laughs> dude, we've taken this a little far. Uh, no, no, I don't I think don't we've think taken it far enough. Said, Danny, he's. What if we do? Right, so how, how, how far? How much farther would you that go, Will? What What would you take it further than rainbow beard? Uh, rainbow hair. Shape it like a penis. Like like. Hit, like stripes, like all the way, uh, like straight over you. So it's like, like hey, you can take it. <laughs> what did you say? Shape it like a penis. I mean, cut it in and then down. It's perfect. There you go. We could like, uh, um, we we could braid it like that. Oh boy, this is getting more and more tempting as as. Tell us your fundraiser ideas. What can we do to Nate's hair? How about... That's the question. Also, uh, uh, have, have Will on. do a thousand squats. A thousand? A thousand. <laughs> Scott, I think you're the Within thousand Within a week's span. How about that? I thought you would just strike the... I would die. <laughs> I I would dehydrate <laughs> and span. die. That's what would happen. Ten, all right? Cotton so money? You better watch out. Take a couple zeros off that number. In a week span, okay? Is that is that better? How about yeah. ten? Maybe I'll do ten in a week span. <laughs> and they'll give you money for that? I don't know. Hey, uh, just saying, that's not very impressive. The back hair too. Yes, yes, it's happening. A ponytail? I don't. Oh, you mean this hair? I I hope you mean this hair because I don't have any back hair. No. Oh, I yeah. thought I thought like <laughs> I like mean, back hair. Not on the top half anyway. Oh. Well, are we gonna are we gonna all, do all rainbow hair, ass hair? Rain, all hairy fucking monkey hairs. That's happening. Okay? If you do if you donate a thousand dollars right now to once revealed, Nate's gonna bleach and then subsequently rainbow flag his ass hair. It's happening. It's canon, it's happening now. <laughs> gonna make it happen. This chair has the dye that I need for it. What? This chair has the dye that I need for it on. I'm, I'm sitting in it right now. I mean, I, I, I can, I can also help you dye it if you want. I'll help too. Fun. I mean, the back. don't bring well, me out. Nate doesn't I'll, have I'll, back I'll, hair. Do I'll any of us have back hair? His butt hairs. I mean, come on. <laughs> Which guy? Let me out of this. No finding the back. Which guy is your favorite? Leave a comment below. Tell us who's your favorite. Is this a competition? <laughs> I'd pay money not to see that. That's the new fundraiser. <laughs> pay us money or we'll do we'll we'll dye Nate's butt hair on on live stream and you have to see it. If you if we raised a thousand dollars, we won't show you that picture. <laughs> and live stream it. Yes, we're live streaming it. Happening. Okay. Well. Oh, that thank will you. Be our ending. Uh, we'll, we'll be <laughs> thanks our for ending. hanging out with us. No. Uh, yeah. No. That's. Uh, it's. It's kind of like. Do you guys remember? Oh, what was the save save Toby Do you remember that? There was this dude. No idea what that is. <laughs> I was. I was in like middle school, so this was two thousand four. 2004, 2005, but it was this dude who, like, he found a, a, a bunny under his porch or something like that, and was gonna relocate it, but then, instead of relocating it, he, like, created a website and was like, hey, uh, I, if you guys donate, like, $50,000, I'm gonna relocate this rabbit to a nice rabbit sanctuary, but if you don't, if I don't get fifty thousand dollars, I'm gonna kill it and I'm gonna skin it and I'm gonna cook it and I'm gonna eat it. And he got the money. 
people donated like fifty thousand dollars to stop him, and then he was like, "Okay, thanks for that. It's a hundred thousand dollars now." And it was like, "What are you doing? You can't do this, man." Yeah, and Master he like posted. He did like like professional goodness. portraits of this bunny, like like beautiful pictures of this cute little bunny rabbit. And he was just like, yeah, I'm going to kill and eat it. And there was, like, there was a whole thing. Like, I had a shirt for a while that said Save Toby and had, like, a bunny on the bottom. Because so I was like, i got to buy one of these shirts. Like, it's got to happen. I mean, Man. it's a smart con. I mean, it, it's not illegal to do that. But yeah, also, no. You know? But also, I feel like I mean, there's a special layer of hell reserved for that guy. What's that, Will? I feel like there's a special layer of hell reserved for that guy. Just Amen. Well, absolutely. Man, my goodness. I guess that it was a good thing to do. Yeah, it's no. A smart way it's to legal. It. It's legal. That has yeah. nothing to do with how good it is. Jeez. Danny, because you're awesome. Hitler. We love you. Thanks for hanging out. You're the best. How was yeah. your week? Did you have a good time? <laughs> We're all just going to sit here quietly until he answers. You guys gotta get him a girlfriend. Funny. <laughs> Funny? Question mark? <laughs> I don't... I wonder what happened to him. How is... I, I'm gonna look it up. I don't know. What happened but to Saint Toby? how was your weekend? You, you changed the subject on us, like buddies. What, what, what about your weekend? You you mean just with a bunny suit, suit, Danny. Yep. Yeah, two thousand five. They wrote a book. Yeah, this, if if you, I'm sure. Well, actually, no, Danny. I'm sure that your week has been the same as it mine. Was lovely. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that doesn't look lovely. Well, Will needs a friend. A what? Friend. Will, you need a special friend. We need to get you a girlfriend. My wife would have <laughs> something to say about that. <laughs> but I'll take a special friend. Nate, do you want to be my special friend? I'll be your special friend, buddy. Oh, I love well, you. Fuck so you guys. What did you say? Yeah, I mean, he does have an, uh, any penis, so it's pretty close to a girl. <laughs> I did see, I just, mean, I saw the tail end of that conversation. I was like, I'm just going to start the live stream. <laughs> this isn't, I, we're not going to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Good times. Uh, it's relevant, you know. When he brought up the whole thing, I was close to a woman. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, Scott will say it. <laughs> Jesus. Have you tried just doing it? Just do Wait, it. One. Check mark. Just do it. Just do it. I just spit at you. No. I'm sorry, laptop. Didn't mean you better be sorry. Right? Are you uh, defending my laptop? Yeah. Because it's a piece of shit. I need therapy defend. now. <laughs> Well, oh, that's what we're here for. Well, tell us your problems you. there, Danny. Please, tell us more about these. This is a great time to talk about how Once Revealed is a, a big proponent of mental health. That's right. That's right. It's well, okay well, not to be okay. We are, we are concerned about people's health. This is true. Absolutely. That's what we write about. We write about that type of shit. I mean, sometimes, I, we, uh, sometimes we cause the mental health problems, but we care about it. But... Then, then we write music, and then it equals out. Right. Is this how it should work? Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like moral gray area, we're fine. I'm fine. We like to ride that gray line, that yeah. gray area. That gray line. Like, ride yeah. the gray line. Mm -hmm. oh. That sounds like that a song. Gray line. Mm, that's gonna feel good. <laughs> that's scary good. I hate that you can do that. <laughs> you ain't ready to read this. Okay. All right, Danny. I, I mean, I, I'm just curious, you know, just being nice. 
But if you don't want to mention that, that's no. perfectly you, fine. You aren't ready. If you ever want, not ready. If you ever want to talk, I'll ready my stamina for hearing intense things from that book. If ever you decide you would like to speak with a guy with a big beard about it. He is why Say something he's all going. Yeah, that's what the beard is. It's long enough to get to Odessa. I just have it rolled up. <laughs> Here, let me, I'll unroll it for you. Check it out. <laughs> what is this face you're making? I'm unrolling my face. just jerking off. I don't know, oh. but that's okay, too. Now look, look at that. It's it's enormous. It, it's all the way to Odessa now. Wow. Holy shit. I can see it yeah. now. Actually, I just saw it pass my house. Holy fuck. <laughs> just saw it pass my... Like this beard just unrolling... <laughs> <laughs> like through your front yard. <laughs> a giant fucking wheel of hair. Whoa. I hate that. How long? <laughs> what's the distance to Odessa from uh, Martinsburg, West Virginia? I'm looking it up. I will cry like a little girl for you. I would do it. No, like, I'm going to roll my beard up now. Hold on. It's conversation. 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 Got a little deeper. Got a little too deep. Okay. Okay, there Scott's my. <laughs> oh, he's now he's picking favorites. All right. All right. Yeah, I guess I better. Com too. I better compete. What can I say? I don't know what to say. You're gonna have to pick another favorite, I guess, because I have nothing else to say. I think oh, you yeah. already said the thing that made him your favorite. I mean, you okay. Well, I got to keep it going, you know. I want it, I want him to consistently keep me as his favorite, you know. Pressure's on. Well, if you worry about that, you're not going to be his favorite. All right. Too late. Like um, um, so, cool, another cool thing that happened, completely changing the topic here. Yeah. Back to, so I had an interview today. Oh, snap. And I have an interview tomorrow. The interview today was good. The people seemed cool, but the job was, like, crazy. Like, the money was really good. Like, I was going to be making eleven fifty a week, 1150 bucks a week. Yeah, I was about to say. Which is really good. Yeah, that is really good. Eleven fifty a week, you know? <laughs> you know, that's that's my door dash meal. salary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Danny said Danny well, said you need his validation now. <laughs> See, I told you. Hey, what can I do, Danny? What can I do to make you validate me? My existence, what can I do? <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, um, so you didn't like this job. Top, I killed, um and the hours are fucking crazy. Like I'd be Working 50 hours, which isn't terrible. At the same time, I'd be working like 1 o'clock in the morning some days, and then I'd be working 4 o'clock in the morning other days. And it's just like trying to adjust to that. It's fucking crazy, you know? Yeah, that sounds rough. Yeah. So. Yeah. Man. I mean, I feel like Will kind of kind of suffers through that already. but. Yeah, but that's just how my brain works, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's always crazy. been... Your regular schedule can really mess you up, man. Like, that circadian rhythm's no joke. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just a crazy person. So it's fine. Yes. It's just a crazy There's that. person. Yeah. As long as he's a crazy person and he's healthy. Well. In other ways. Yeah. I learned, I remember, I listened to this podcast about sleep loss. I'm sure I've told you guys about this before. Yeah, when you were driving to, to Marshall and oh you were sleep God, deprived. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. It was so bad. So like, I, yeah. Well, it was it was really rough at that point because I was just not sleeping much because I was doing too many things, right? Mm -hmm. And I was listening to the podcast, and it was a neurologist talking about all the terrible things that happen to you when you lose too much sleep. Um, there's a lot, mm -hmm. as it, as it yeah. turns out, a yes. lot of bad things. And I just never knew. I just figured I'd power through it and be okay. It's, it's not. It's not. Like if you if you lose too much sleep, you'll just die, a yeah, incontinent cancerous death, and it's just not fun. Yeah, because causal effect to Alzheimer's, causal effect to cancer. You know, 
it's just no good. Yeah. So I, was, I was like on one of those two week marathons where like I just was doing stuff every day, not sleep like more than like four hours a night or something stupid like that, you know, or maybe I'm exaggerating. It is four to six hours I was sleeping each night, right? And you know, still like the four, not four great. 30. Yeah, that fucking sucks. Well, I was listening to this podcast, right? And it was talking about all this like terrible stuff that happens to you, and my body as I was, it's like my body was shriveling. And like, like it fall, folding into itself, like in discomfort and pain. And I was just like, God, I'm gonna die was it, like tomorrow. I remember, you, I remember you mentioning this like during a performance. Like you, you were driving to, I think it was Baltimore. You mentioned something. About you had that. like a fish head show. Yeah. Yeah. Or was it fish? Yeah, it was it fish? Yeah, fish head. It's like, wow, I feel so bad for you. That's right, Danny. I'm gonna die a uh, poopy dookie with cancer death. I was gonna say, yep. incontinent. That's uh, that's what happens when you're when you're inside North America, right? <laughs> I think so. It's hard to be out continent. It's kind of I, tricky. No, it's the, well. I mean, both. if you're here and I'm in Asia, then I'm out continent. But you're incontinent in reference to yourself. No, so but in reference to yourself, it's all about the the perception, how you perceive it. But that doesn't so, work because we're lacking objective reality. Well, that doesn't work because you suck. Well, you're a poop head. Well, you're a poop head. This conversation. Welcome to the Once Revealed really Variety <laughs> Hour. We're <laughs> Once Revealed. Well, I got a funny, funny, funny thing. Okay. What do you think? I was um, applying to some jobs yesterday. I actually took a picture of it. I wish I could send it. I don't know how I can do that right now, but. In the in the application, like it asks you all these different questions, like how long have you been driving? Is the CDL driving? And then under that, it specifies some other stuff. And then it's the, one of the questions was, do you speak United States? <laughs> and I was like, really? Do you speak United States? Like, face so like, palm to the max. Not not familiar with that dialect. <laughs> Can you give me an yes, example? I speak, all, <laughs> I speak all 50 states. Yes. Yeah, when I was the same that oh. Alabama, Hawaii, my Alaska. I tell you what. I tell you what. But then I voted. America. 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 I do have that Ivy League education. Thank you, Danny. I'm uh, I'm what they call a Hill William. It's an educated hillbilly. Hmm. Hmm. I'm jealous. Wouldn't that make me an Ivy League educated dude as well? We went to the same place. I don't think there's anything I believe about Shepard. They did have some ivy growing on um, um, <laughs> behind yeah, the yeah, bird center. Yeah, on the side of the Frank Center, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, on the front side of the Frank ivy. Center, too. Yeah. That's that Ivy League education. <laughs> some ivy. That defines it as an Ivy League when it has ivy. Well, I also think they call it Ivy League. It's, our school had ivy on it. It's the Ivy League. <laughs> It must be. Uh, it just how it works. Really either, uh, horticulture, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah. it's uh, we have an excuse though. We went to school in West Virginia. There's not really any rules there. That's true. Wait, why am I doing this on here? Why are you doing this on here? You don't even know what I'm doing. So shut up. I, I always know what you're doing. I'm watching you. I do you. Yeah. You get a. You got a baby cam right above me or something? No. Well, then, how do you know? Hey, babe. Reasons. Hey, babe! Hey, oh, babe. shit, you have... Will said hey, babe, too. <laughs> She's quite offended. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said he's sorry. Does she not accept? Julie says hi. Oh, hi, Julie. Julie says hi. If I shout loud enough, I can I can get out of the the earbuds, right? No, <laughs> that's not how it works. I'm Please pretty sure it is. Uh, Will, that means you need to shout. That means I'm gonna take my Bluetooth out. <laughs> You're gonna have to put it on the regular speaker in that case. But yeah, I guess so. so I'm gonna oh. have to be talking softly, like a jazz radio announcer. 
Thank you. you always tell Tonight, me. Play the entire album. Kind yeah. of blue. Let's see. Let's see. Thank you for joining Let's us not. this week on NPR. <laughs> this is Let's our jazz hour. Me. She she wants to remain uh, anonymous at this point, so let's let's not. I think I think Danny wants. I to think he's me. talking to nobody. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's, uh, it's just a skeleton in a chair in the corner. <laughs> That's Julie. Can everyone else see Julie? <laughs> Danny, I like you. You're fun. Yeah, we should yeah. hang out. <laughs> this is good times. Let's hang out. Let's let's do a, a, a podcast with this Danny guy. I think he needs to join in. Dude, I think so. I think Danny needs to hang out on all of these. Yeah. That'll be oh, cool. Oh, man. I was just going right, to... So, Scott, just hold up your hand. Hello, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, can everyone else know? Well, we can't meet Julie, but maybe you can meet my cat. Yeah. Which one? Okay. You have like six of them. <laughs> Which one is this? Is this the man coon? Yep. Man coon fluff. This is Master Chief uh, on Hawk Dad's Max Billion Jr. Here. Danny, we'll have our people talk to your people. Let's let's make it happen. We'll set it up. We'll do lunch. It'll be a good time. Billy, the manager is cheap. I like the other name more. Can you hear my cat? I cannot. No. I wish I could. Me too. Oh. Is he purring right now? He is. He purrs loudly. I found another one at the door. Oh. Oh. They know that now it's acceptable, so they're all gonna like swarm at once. <laughs> the bleep is that thing? I think it's uh, I think it's the bottom of a mop. It's the it's the bottom of a mop. It's the mop head, but it got dyed black somehow. Which one is this? Zena. That's the biggest I've ever seen. It's a freaking lion. It's a man coon. They're pretty, pretty ginormous kitties. All right, so we we just added another tier in our fundraising idea. If you donate five thousand dollars, we'll paint Nate's cat rainbow. No, no, you keep <laughs> your hands off my cat. You Damn, off my cat. Shit just got. <laughs> you can keep your hands on my butt, but not but off yeah, my yeah. cat. Uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I like that he, he he's very possessive of his kitties. I am the same way. I wouldn't let anybody touch my kitties. Yeah. And I have to pretend this is gonna like get hair all over the place and scratch things and yeah. I do cat stuff. I don't want to do cat things. Yeah. Just I'm cat things. Cat shit on the floor today. Ooh. The basement. Oh, that's the... Yeah. He they make a habit of that for some reason. Even when the litter box is clean. Fucking frustrating. That's unfortunate. A giant that. turd just sitting in the middle. Like I went downstairs this morning. And I was like, I don't even have to worry about it. But I just because I just cleaned the damn thing, and then a turd just sitting there. I'm like, I'm gonna go door dash. I'll deal with this shit later. Danny said, "Dear God, <laughs> you are correct, Danny." Oh man. Sometimes I'm really glad that I have a dog, even though it's a pain to take him out. At least I know when he's gonna shit. <laughs> And where? Oh, well, at the same time, dogs do shit on the floor. I've had a dog before. He's pissed on the floor and shit on the floor. So. I Once you get him trained, then I've never had a problem. Oh, that's a good dog. Nate, the real money is if you can successfully shave one of your cats. I can shave one of my cats? Actually, that would work out because Chief got a bunch of clumps. we got to shave that guy. Oh, yeah? That's going to be fun. You should live stream it. That could be a variety hour. There's no yeah, variety. We're just shaving the cat. Variety hour. Shaving cats. Shaving cats. Well, As you do. Know. You know. Damn. Is it really that time? Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, my well, we watch is way off. off. We oh. started at like 8.30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was, my clock, my watch was at 10.00. 17 i'm like that, oh, that can't that's be right. not right 
I don't even know why it was said at that point, but it's like, damn, we've been on here for two hours? Yeah, no. I would have left by then. That thing will mess him up. Yeah, no, I bet. He's, uh, I mean, Chief is huge, so I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's all right. You're pretty. Actually, Danny, I'll have you know, Chief is the most agreeable when it comes to, like, procedures like that. Like, I've had to, like, he's the biggest one, but he's, like, the nicest one, too. <laughs> so, you know. It's always the gentle giants, isn't it? Gentle Seems giant. like that's a... Just the gentle giant. reason he's so big is he got fat. <laughs> like, that's part of the size. He's just fat. Does he just... My parents have a cat that will eat and eat. He doesn't stop eating. You put food there, he will eat and eat and eat. So they have to, like, give him, like, portions. Is it like that mm -hmm. for, for this cat? No, it's not really. It's, it's more like, so he has less lung capacity. So he does a lot more laying around. Uh, so uh, kind of like poor guy. Well, you know, yeah. Well, maybe he would have more lung capacity if he just wasn't a bitch. I think so. And yeah, I think that's. Maybe, I feel like technically not a bitch, but I guess in this case you could call him a bitch. Show up, Scott. <laughs> well, you know the main philosophy that we've learned between the two of us. We actually have two of them. One is stop being a bitch and just do it. Yeah. Right. That's one thing we can do to make your life better. The other thing is just look at it. We should just look just at it. Look at just it. look at it. Just look never at it. pass up the opportunity. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Hey, these, this is wisdom right here. I mean, this is... These, this is a lot of wisdom I'm being I'm tossed at you guys. We should get paid right now for this. <laughs> uh, dial 555-1987 for your free copy of Scott Tells You to Shut the Fuck Up. I don't know. Whatever our book's called. No, uh... So another thing that happened this week is uh, one of Luis's brothers uh, had, well, not him personally, but his wife had a baby. Um, so Luis and I are, are aunt and uncles now. But uh, we, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it's going to take like four years to meet this kid because COVID. But, um, but we've got... Don't say that. <laughs> I hope not. We'll see. But That would be terrible. There, uh... There's a, a family group chat that we have going, and um, one of Louise's brothers, who's like a smart ass, he sent a message. He's like, "Hey guys, everybody here is is an uncle, except for Michael and Megan, who are the the uh, the brother and sister in law who just had the baby. But Louise is in that chat, and she was like, um, and me, and he just like immediately, like not even a second to like think about it, just posted back." Shut the fuck up. It was like the funniest thing. Like, I was not expecting that. It was the funniest thing I've seen in a while. It's fantastic. It's like, everybody's an uncle now. Except for me. Shut the fuck up. It's just like, out of the blue. I love it. Yeah. Oh, always those blunt, just <laughs> immediate responses are the best. Yeah, and you just like, you're not ready for it at all. It's just like, oh, okay. That's what's happening now. Cool. Uh, that's funny. All right, guys. It's uh, nine seventeen. It has been quite an hour yet, but we got started late, so uh, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out and talking about whatever we've been talking about. I don't know. S stuff that involves a lot of stuff. Yeah. Involving. More what is next week stuff. when we learn how to make homemade chipotle eggnog? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's You're saying that's, that's, well, that's we way dying, too high of an expectation. Dying Nathan's beard rainbow. Right. And shaving Nathan's cat. Right, so donate, make that happen. The phone lines are open, took, you can do it. I, I took your, your spotlight there, Nathan, I'm sorry. It's fine, I'll still make that chipotle eggnog. Oh, Okay, I want to see this this recipe. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that one. It's gonna be good. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. You've been great. Um, yeah, check out 
uh, our stuff on Spotify, we might have some new material coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I think we're going to be posting about that soon, hopefully. Um, I talked to Vern. But, uh, yeah, good things happening in the future. Uh, sort of a lull right now because of COVID and stuff. But, yeah, we're going to be making it happen. Good things happening. So uh, check out that Spotify account. Keep active on our socials. Uh, you guys got anything else? Bring your pet to work day. Bring your pet to work day. Thank you all for being so well-dressed. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>